Hey fellas, Rusty coming at you, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Kentucky Bluegrass Barlow. So the Bluegrass, Kentucky Bluegrass, is an exclusive series you can get from Shepherd Hills. Uh, they have a trapper, mini trapper. I have a Barlow, a mini trapper, uh, and a sod buster in this series. So as you can take a peek, we'll look at the bluegrass bone. A lot of them have some nice marbling here. We're shooting this indoors. It's the first, uh, first day of snow where I'm at. So hopefully the lighting's coming through okay, but you can see the marbling. Got a little bit kind of funny, got a little bit different here. Uh, the blue grass and a green uh, look to it, but very good fit and finish on the Barlows I've been getting as of late. I uh, don't have a build. I have a box for this, but I forgot the build date on it. I wanna say maybe September of 24. So we'll get around to the other side here, which would be the show side. I kind of started on the, maybe a little bit on the other side, the wrong side. Uh, take a look at this shield. I haven't seen a lot of this happen. And what they've done here is actually, they ground a bit of that shield, it looks like, right there they if i have either that or a dent which if you take a look and this thing is such a fingerprint magnet right here i got a little crease and maybe you can see that do you see that just this corner right here i'm sure it's like a crease uh doesn't bother me still. I'm okay with that. We got good blade centering. We have good springs, good fit and finish, and good action. Nice uh, walk and talk. And we'll take a peek here. Happy with, I'm happy with this knife. Smooth across uh, the back. Nice action. Half stop. Okay. Uh, $61.99 if I didn't say so. You can hear that walk and talk. You can see lack of stepping. Uh, the fit and finish, if you will. You can hear that snap and hear that snap. So we'll take a little peek. Uh, this one came pretty sharp. Ooh, 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 that is, that's a lot sharper. I think with case, they do a decent job sharpening. It just has to do with knocking the burr off. Well, with this one, I didn't have to. It Maybe it was done, so to speak. So I like these. I like a mini trapper better, but... The Barlow's a nice, shall we say, carry. It's a it's a good size. I like half stops. They're kind of fun. I uh, have a couple with a clip point blade and a pen blade. A uh, couple variety of cutting options. So I'll bring this one out for you. And this one is the other Shepherd Hill exclusive. A uh, $62 knife. Oh, better clean them up for comparison. And that's the crimson. So, you can see that little ding right there in that bolster. Looks like different. Look at this is square. Or is it? Do they have different? I think they do have. This one comes down. This one goes straight across. Interesting. I never would have caught that if I hadn't been comparing these. So, uh, good fit and finish. I mean, guys, that's not bad. 
Uh, we'll slow down here, take a look at that bone. And I do have a video out on this. So, oh, I forget what I did a comparison to in that video. Looks like this blade's pushing the pile side, but not rubbing. Uh, the crimson bone, you can get some real pretty marbling. But what I like is when you get the red spots in with the black, but this side has always looked painted on. Except for then when we get in here, you can see that dye, you know, that's that translucent, glassy type of a look there. So, um, there's how she looks side by side. And we'll set them this way. See how they look. You can kind of see. I don't know how they do that with the crimson bone. You get those spots of red. And here we really don't. We got nice. Just the way they finish this around. I think on both of them, and you can see the bolster difference. So we'll open them up, see how they look. Four blades when they're open. They're gonna have the same blade. Uh, I do like that action. Oh, this one's a little easier. I'm not sure. Now again, uh, both of these just, you know, I, I rinsed these, I oiled them. I wiped them down and I've actually rinsed them again because that oil just seems to be everywhere. And I didn't oil them heavily, but yeah, you wouldn't really notice. I think they're a brother from, uh, from the same mother, shall we say. So, all right guys. I guess one last thing will we'll open this. So I don't have, I have other knives with me today, but I didn't plan on doing any more comparison. I just wanted these ones mostly so you could see uh, at the time of this video, you can get both of these for the same price, $61.99. And I think it's a good price for a case Barlow. And I think they're both pretty, if you will. Good looking, nice, nicely built. Oh. Hey, we'll be done. Thanks for joining me.